Hey everyone, this week we've got a car that's very near and dear to my heart. This is the Cadillac concept car called the Escala. This was from 2016 or so. This was kind of a concept for the future flagship of Cadillac. I don't know, I think it's a great looking car. It's a uh, kind of like a five door hatch, similar to an Audi A7. This would be a dealership model that you would have found in China. But fairly high end. Has some interesting features. Um, you, it is opening die cast. You don't have an opening hood because while well, a concept car really, what are they going to show you? It was reported to have a, a 4.2 liter twin turbo V8 which Cadillac wound up calling the Blackwing in the future. And that was only put in the CT6 Blackwing and then sadly discontinued. Wheels and tires are very good. And this actual wheel design was just used on the 2022 CT5 Blackwing, so the wheel did not go to waste. The overall front end design wound up on all modern Cadillacs around 2018, 2019-ish. And up, we have a CT4 and it has a front end very similar to this. So, for opening it up, what's cool is, a nice little detail, the opening crevice tool actually has the Cadillac logo, so that's a little different. Interior is very nice. And if you can make out that dash, you've got a big OLED screen, which looked very futuristic in 2016, but that actually debuted pretty much production-wise in the 2021 Escalade. So that's really the whole point of a concept car, is to kind of prepare you for the things that you're going to see a couple years later in production. Really good detailing overall. One of the unique features is if you watch the trunk, the rear parcel shelf, the actual trunk floor actually lifts up as if it was like the parcel shelf. So it's on a kind of strut mechanism, which is pretty neat. And it's got carpeting, which is also neat in little straps. Really neat. You're not going to see much underneath because, again, concept car. Paint works very good. The roof is see-through, which is neat. Big panel roof. Another nice little detail is the little things. It comes with this screw driver, I guess you'd call it, um, to get it off the base. And it's the exact same size as the screws should be. So sometimes I wind up stripping some of the screws on the base. It doesn't happen here. It has a little scale fitted luggage. That's a nice little detail. Packaging, remember, it's a dealership dealership packaging. So there's no real brand name to it. So that's the outer sleeve. Uh, the inner is very nice and heavy. It's a two-piece split box. Opens it up. And you've got some nice uh, pamphlet with some nice artwork. Again, very nice. They, they really tried with this. Um, retail was probably about 189 close to 200 This card goes over some of the features. And it's a nice, uh, it's a nice display base with the Cadillac logo and the model. It's a really neat car. I paid a uh, hundred dollars plus shipping, which at that price I'm certainly not mad at it. And one of the reasons why the this model special to me is if we go moving a little bit, the Escala was my clay certification subject. So I became a digital and clay sculptor in 2018, and this was the car that I sculpted in clay. It is a one four scale Escala. And I probably have a couple hundred hours invested. It's huge. It weighs about 80 pounds. You start out with a wood skateboard, and then you put white foam, and you start shaping the white foam to a rough shape of the car. And then you just apply a ton of clay. And you use the same clay implements and clay tools that they've been using for about 100 years now, so that's always kind of neat. Unfortunately, it has not aged that well. There are little stress cracks and little bumps and things like that. And this is not paint. This is a, uh, it's a kind of vinyl wrap that's specific to the automotive industry that they use for clay. It's very expensive. It's called Dynock. 
And sadly, when I was done with the program, they repossessed the, uh, the 3D printed wheels. So it looked like this was in Detroit for too long and had the wheels stolen. But uh, to come up with wheels of similar scale, I, I bought a, a cheap stroller and stole the wheels from them. So the five spokes aren't accurate, but it looks better than no wheels at all. So it's, it's something I'm really proud of in my collection. Um, it's in this corner, and above it is a rendering I did in college that's, you know, a hand rendering. So, I don't know, it's just kind of neat to have something I made from scratch. So that's kind of one of the reasons why that Escala is something I've hunted for years now. And it's actually one of my favorite die-cast cars because of it. So that's it for this week. Uh, we've really dug into the American Excellence cars. We've gone through half. They've been hitting eBay. They've been doing really well. We sell things on eBay in less than 12 hours at pretty close to asking price sometimes. Uh, instant buy it now. So keep an eye out for that. Uh, eBay ID DWB as in boy F11. So everyone have a good week. And we'll talk next week. Have a good one.